Hi guys, look what arrived on my doorstep today. I'm not sure how it happened. Um, I pre-ordered this just like everybody else did. I pre-ordered mine from Entertainment Earth. Now, when I initially made the pre-order, um, it was due to arrive in November, which I thought was a mistake because Hasbro listed had it listed on their website to arrive in May of 2022. So just recently, Entertainment Earth updated the ship date to January. So I was like, I still don't know if that's right. Um, and apparently, I don't, I don't know what happened because clearly not January yet. And I have the Ray Force FX Elite lightsaber by Hasbro in my hands. I literally can't believe it. This is my first Force FX Elite lightsaber, so I'm very excited. I really wanted to get this one because it just seemed to be more movie accurate compared to the Legacy lightsaber. Now, I did an unboxing of this um, live on my Instagram, but I wanted to show it to you guys here on YouTube as well and also do a comparison of the Legacy lightsaber and this one by Black Series. So let's get right into it. So here it is. Oh my gosh, I am I absolutely love it. Immediately I noticed that it had the darker colored hilt, just like in the movie. Um, it is very weighty. It feels amazing. Um, the fabric is really nice and they did say um, when they first introduced this lightsaber that over time it'll wear as you're using it, which I think is a really cool feature. It's about as heavy as the one um, from Disney, um, which is really cool because I just think the more weighted hilts make them just seem more authentic. Um, I really like that the batteries don't require a screwdriver so if you happened to be on Batu and you needed to switch out your batteries and you had batteries with you on hand you could easily do that without a fuss um the switch which i will the ignition switch i will show you in a moment we'll turn the lights off so you can see the amazingness of that so these little parts on the lightsaber i don't know if they have a name but the ones um by disney are very delicate and they move really easily these kind of just snap into place um and i really like that this part unscrews so it just makes you feel better about the whole situation so the blade um is removable so you twist and pull similar to um, the legacy lightsaber so it's really easy to do put it in like so and then you put this guy over it so you don't have to worry about like trying to aim the blade in between these um somewhat delicate pieces so you don't have to worry about them breaking but um it just looks really nice i really Love the overall appearance of it and the quality. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like in the dark because it is amazing. Oh my gosh! I'm literally gonna turn this lightsaber on all day. Oh my gosh, it does have a really cool button feature. I forget what it's called already. We'll insert it here for you but you can just press this button and it like puts you in battle mode, which is so cool. You can hold it down for a very dramatic effect. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, let's do that again. Oh my gosh. I'm literally obsessed. Like this was a huge selling point for me, the ignition switch, um, because you do just like in the movie, you slide it sideways and you see the multiple colors kind of just do that magical thing and become that really like warm yellow, um, which is accurate for Ray's lightsaber. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like um, with the light on as well. You kind of see it happen. Right inside there. Oh, that's so cool. I absolutely love it. So this 
lightsaber is $264.99. You get the hilt, you get the blade, and you get a metal stand as well, which is really nice for display purposes. I really like that. And um, in case you are wondering, the hilt is metal as well. I absolutely love it. Okay, so here is the Legacy lightsaber. This one is $149.99 and it only comes with a hilt. You don't get the blade and the stand like the Hasbro version. Now this one, I really love. I truly am not upset about purchasing this one at all. I'm actually a huge Legacy lightsaber fan. You will see um, that this one is a much lighter gray and it does have um, a more worn in look. You see that like bit of rust kind of all over it. And um, it is very heavy, which is nice. Um, I'll show you both side by side. So this one is Legacy and this one is Hasbro. So it might be kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but this one is definitely darker than this one. The Legacy lightsaber is a little bit taller than Hasbro. Not sure why, it's just a different design, I guess. Everybody has always said that the color of Ray's lightsaber um, on the Legacy lightsaber has a bit of a green tint to it. Um, it's yellow, but there is a little bit of green in there, whereas Hasbro one is more of like that true, like warm yellow, kind of little bits of orange in there, just like in The Rise of Skywalker. Um, so I'll show you the comparisons of the blade colors as well. So this is a Legacy lightsaber. I don't think it is as bright as Hasbro's. And I don't know how much is gonna come up on screen, but it does have a little bit of that green tint. Oh yeah, look how much brighter Hasbro's is. And it turns out more white on camera, but in front of me, I'm looking at it and it's a warm yellow. So really the only thing that I don't like about um, the Legacy lightsaber version is the switch. It's just like this little itty bitty switch on the side there. I mean, it, the nice thing is, is that you can conceal it for like photos and videos and stuff like that, but I would much rather be able to ignite it the way Ray does. So you just got that little switch there. And on this one, you actually get to move this little cover, which is so cool. I love that. They're both very nice, but they are different. Um, which one do I like better? I do have to go with Hasbro's just because it is more screen accurate and I appreciate that. Um, but I'm still a Legacy Lightsaber girl. I like collecting them and I think they're they're made really nice. And I don't know, I just really love lightsabers. I mean, that's how I basically became a fan. I saw Obi-Wan hand Luke Skywalker his father's lightsaber. That was the very first scene from A New Hope that I ever saw and that introduced me to Star Wars. I've been obsessed with lightsabers ever since. So it's um, very hard for me to complain about lightsabers. <laughs> So another difference are um, the fabrics that are wrapped around the hilts. This one, um, the Legacy lightsaber, it's a little bit softer and it doesn't have as much fraying. The colors are also like a little bit more muted. Whereas this one, Hasbro, you have a lot more fraying. Like some of these are already cut off and they're like unraveling again, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a worn look and the fabric is nice. It's not as soft, but it's not uncomfortable to hold at all. Um, I think Jason, my husband said he preferred the cloth on this one more. I'm kind of unsure. I kind of do like this one, but it might just be because I've had this one for a while and I'm more used to it. Um, 
but yeah they're both they're both fabric real fabric and very nice so i think that's it if you guys have any questions about either of the lightsabers please let me know and let me know which one you prefer thanks and may the force be with you